What's going on guys? It's Isaac. Today I am working on hooking up the brake hydraulics. I've got the uh, master cylinder here. I believe this is going to be the front brake circuit. So I'll need a 9 16 uh, fitting uh, to a, what is it, 3 16 I think I've got. 3 16 brake line. And I, one brake line coming out to a T and then have that brake line going to that side and then the other one coming around this way and up to the uh, front right brake. So uh, I have some figuring I have to do. So let me see about the, uh, <clears throat> the fittings. I've got a bunch of fittings. Please fit, please fit, please fit. Oh, yes. Uh, there, there, there it is. I got a whole roll, 25 feet, of the 3 16 brake line. I did this because I didn't know what lengths I needed, how I'm going to route it, or anything like that. So, I needed to get what I could get. I didn't want to make multiple trips. So let me see if I can teach y'all how to uh, make brake lines. Can't forget this piece. Put the 3 16 into the hole. See the thickness of this? You put it right up here and you go until it matches the thickness and then you clamp down on this now I guess you put this piece on first and then you put on this piece you tighten down on it. You know, having a vise handy would be a great idea. All right, I'm gonna say that's tight enough. Back this off. Take this piece out. All right. Now you use this piece because it's got the uh, taper and you tighten it up. And that's it. Should be it. Let's see how it looks. And I guess what I'm going to do is bend that line back. I'm going to have to cut it. I think I'm going to go right around here with the T. I'm going to cut this line right here and put another end on it. So I have installed the new brake line. Now I'm going to come off one side and run it to one wheel. So I've got this uh, line going in place. I'm running it along the frame rail. I'm going to cut it somewhere around here.
I now have a new brake hose and I am going to uh, install it in the wheel cylinder. A camera guy or girl would be nice. Someone to handle the camera while I turn the wrenches. That would be awesome. That one's installed. So now I gotta go over to the other side. So I have that whole side plumbed. Now I need to do the passenger side. That looks like it'll be good enough. All right, let us put some bins in this. We want to go around the transmission. Are we there yet? I've got the last brake line going in. Tightening it up as we speak. There we go. I got my brake lines run. Now all I gotta do is put some uh, brake fluid in it and bleed the brakes. I failed to uh, mention guys that when you do the brakes on these you have to adjust the uh, star wheel adjuster. You notice how the drum is just continuously spinning. You don't want that. You want a little bit of friction. So you just adjust it until it starts to uh, rub. Time to put brake fluid in this thing. So I have this pretty cool brake bleeding tool that I'm going to use on this car. Maybe the gauge. Pulling a vacuum on the brake system. Now I'm going to check the rear differential for fluid. Here's the differential. Some, uh, it's a big plug on the back. Yeah. Y'all want to take this second to bet if there's any oil in it or not? I'm going to say it's full. And I'll tell you why. It's because I don't see oil coming down either side of this the uh, axles. So I'm going to say this is full. Yes it is. And it is nasty. She'll do for now. This is going directly to the fuel tank. And I'm going to see if there's anything in the tank using this little same 
thing I use for the for the brakes. Oh. It's actually has fuel in it and it is disgusting. Alright guys, so this is the first of many, hopefully, bagging out of the garage. Okay guys, it is time for the maiden voyage. What is going to happen? Hopefully, nothing bad. So the next video will be me tying up loose ends, um, finishing up the brakes good, um, and just getting her all tidied up and ready to go. So appreciate y'all watching, and I'll see you next time.